Hi there, you lovely fly fishing maniacs. My name is Ken Persson. I'm the co-founder of Samuel Sweden. Today, I hope you join us going up to El Dolan, where I meet up with Ola Spog, the designer of Samuel's Opal Fly Lords. Ola is going to talk about his background in competition casting and rod designs, his ideas and lines and so on. So, tag along! Hi there, good buddies. Uh, today I got a real treat for you here on the Sameo channel. We got our own master blaster caster, Mr. Ola Spong, here in the beautiful Eldol. Welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm <laughs> fine, sir. Very good. Uh, the fishing here has been really bad. You mean piss poor? Piss poor was the word he said. The casting has been good. The casting has been good. Your background is in competition casting. Could you please? Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about that. Back in the 80s, I was a competition caster in the Swedish national team. And uh, started as a 13-year-old uh, fisherman and interested in, in casting. I saw a couple of guys cast in a, in a football field. Uh, won a couple of Swedish championships and, and then moved on to the world scene and won the uh, uh, world Championships a couple of times. And that was in what year? 80, yeah. 88. A 88? Yeah, yeah. 88. The uh, World Games in 85. It was a really big deal at that time, uh, competition casting. Yeah, it was in, kind of big in, in a couple of countries in, in Europe. Uh, but in Sweden we were real good and, and it was uh, quite, quite big. It was close to getting into the Olympics. It, is an, it, 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 it is an Olympic uh, event, but, yeah. but you have to uh, have the Olympic Committee to, to uh, put it in there. Wow. So it's, it's an Olympic uh, event. Because I know you as a fly fisherman, I don't know you that good as a competitioner, but, but the, uh, the fly fishing, how did that start? I heard something about you actually learned from the legend himself, the big man in Sweden. Yeah, Göran Andersson. Yeah, uh, yeah. He, that, he that's took... the, he's, he's there like the loop, the loop inventor, the, the loop un guy. Underhand guru. There were f quite a few people that competed in casting but never fished. So I was kind of alone with Göran and some other guys that also fished. Yeah. And I, I'm happy also because you, you and me became friends and uh, now you designed our new series of rods. I had a, quite a good teacher in, in uh, designing rods also. It's uh, Gunnar Ask Nilsson, was my first uh, teacher. That's so, so yeah. it's kind of kind of cool. We have the same master. Gunnar was the same, he taught me how to fish and cast and also all the things about designing rods. And it's, it's great to actually continue this legacy. Yeah. Uh, but you are more like a powerful caster, and these rods are a little bit stiffer. I say they are quite more modern for, yeah. for the modern fly fishing. But it, but it's also a, it's, a, it's a series from from a seven six seven foot six uh, class three yeah. line up to uh, a nine line uh, nine foot, uh, and uh, it, it's it's I designed them kind of like my fishing is. As my fishing is, it's it's kind of smooth performance at the light lines, mm. three, four, and also a bit faster at five, but three and four are quite uh, uh, smooth. Normally, a series is is one kind of yeah, yeah. of uh, action in 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 the rods. The blanks are the, produced the same action through the whole series. This is actually kind of different from anything I've seen. Because it's it's uh, about the light line fishing, the smooth performance, the, the thin uh, thin uh, the diameter of the tippets and, and small flies, and then up to the really heavy stuff. About lines, because I got so many questions. You know your switch rods, the, the mm -hmm. eleven uh, yes, rods. line six and the line seven, yeah. and there's so many questions all the time. 
about the lines. I, please, uh, how do you fish with them? How, how do you choose your lines? Uh, they're more like a fishing tool. Yeah. You can you can uh, fish them with uh, five weight long belly and fish dry fly. When you reach far and and uh, keep the keep the line from the from the currents, different currents, and then you can. Um, Use them as a light double-handed rod for summer salmon and lighter lighter salmon flies. You can also use a short skagit line to them. Um, I use uh, them to uh, check them. It's oh. an 11, 11 foot. They are so light. Yeah, they and, are. And yeah. I have a yeah. perfect bend for the check them. Uh, 11 foot check them rod. And I also use them in, in boats as a dapping rod. It's a fantastic. Ah, it's, yeah. a, it's a tool. That, that, it's, it's, a, it's a tool. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, can, you can actually use them so for you use any fishing. The, the six weight rod, you use a five, a six, a seven, an eight. Yeah, and the, the schedule lines are in and they 12. Are and, <laughs> 12 yeah. <laughs> yeah. and how yeah. much uh, six, is six, that six, the weight again, uh, the grams oh. of the Skagit? You used like 90, 20? It's oh, a uh, kind yeah. of two, 240 grains or something. 240 grains? Yeah, wow. uh, at five, 5 meters, 40 centimeters long yeah. Skagit lines. Yeah, and, and the little and then the tip, tips, yeah. That, yeah. That's, that's good. So it's, it's, it's really a really uh, universal tool. So, so if I had, had to have one rod, I would choose that one. Yeah, what are the plans for the future? What's up in the spong head? Well, the, the uh, competition casting is over. I'm too old for that shit. You're too beautiful for that shit. <laughs> Thanks. Um, <laughs> now, it, it's kind of special uh, thoughts about how to get into to fly fishing. Yeah. Uh, we need more younger casters and younger fishermen. Yeah. And girls. Uh, education for... for uh, for fly fishermen, uh, that's simple. It's easy to learn. That's easy to understand. No bullshit. No no fancy, fancy words, words or, or, or something like that. Is to, to to see fly fishing as a way to to relax and enjoy yourself out in the outdoors. Uh, Sometimes it's a very big step for people to to actually uh, start fly fishing. They find it a bit too hard yeah. and uh, so I think you have something really good up to your sleeve there you, you are a teacher a great yeah. teacher P teacher uh, yeah hopefully as soon as next year we're uh, starting up casting schools fishing schools so already next summer we're gonna see see you on tour in Sweden uh, hopefully or is, it, is this Sweden only or are you gonna do we start in Sweden. We start in Sweden. Yeah. yeah. Uh, see the Nordic countries and Europe, and then you never know. Uh, hopefully, yeah, it will be uh, accepted as a, as a great way to, to get into the sport. And of course, we uh, we can see you next year on the sport fishing fair in Elmia. Of course, yeah, it's in Jan Shopping next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, absolutely. You're gonna so, be with with us in yeah. the Samio uh, stand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course. <laughs> so if you uh, go, you're going there. Yeah, please come in and uh, have a good laugh with me. Look, I, look at his uh, dead cats. He, I mean, you're an expert in these articulated flies and the really, really weird streamers that I don't yeah, know so. anything about, but. That's my. But they look so that's my. nice. Yeah. Really like to thank you again for this opportunity to talk to you and see you around, good buddy. Yeah, thanks, Ken. Yeah. Nice to be here. Next week on the Semio channel, we will check out clever little products for us for retrieving eyesight. If you want to see more of this kind, please hit the subscribe button. If you like it, hit the thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. See ya!